This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. This will probably be an easy one, but just in case, let's go ahead and record it. Go ahead and turn it up. It's a commercial application, but residential furnace. I mean, they said it won't come on. Nothing's warm. Let's see whether we got power or not here. We do have power. No worky worky with R2W. Let's try R2G. Air conditioner's coming on. And there goes the blower. All right. Well, this little control here controls this fan, but if this fan's not running, you won't know anything's happening. So let's go ahead and check, see if we got power up here. We do not have power coming out to the draft motor. It's really seeming like that board's bad because that's really the only thing that controls it. The um, spark ignition there which is its own little control which this is what the furnaces used to be like back in my day <laughs> used to keep those things on the truck we can jump uh, the draft motor to 120 volts make sure the draft motor works we could also jump power straight to the control ignition make sure the ignition works okay let's see if we can follow that draft motor down to here which looks like it comes down to here. And DI should be draft induced. Should be able to hook that right on with power. This right here is the transformer. Ooh, did you hear that try to kick on? Yeah, I think we got a bad board. Okay, that's jumping the draft motor. So the draft motor works. Let's. Yeah, I just heard a click. Okay, so what's going on here now? Kind of, you got to use your ears. This is the 24 volts right here. The door switch is kind of jammed shut there. So, notice when we unplug it, you can hear the relay, and I think you're also hearing the draft motor relay. Hear that click right there? That is most likely. One of these three relays. I'm going to tell you that that's likely your problem. Now, if you want to know if your ignition's any good, we can go ahead and jump R over to 24 volts. And I only am doing this for testing, only for testing. Otherwise, this would be dangerous. There it is, it's trying to start. Hear it? So, everything works. We've got us a bad uh, draft board there. So, we're going to need to go get one because I don't have one of those on the truck. I haven't seen those or had to use one of those for a while now. But, let's look this heat exchanger over really good because this thing is old. It is a 1993. I was a junior in high school. Huh. Let's make sure our pressure switch isn't isn't stopping us because if the pressure switch is acting up that could also stop our draft motor from running Let's see if that makes any difference does not appear to be what i'm getting at here is you don't always have to use your meter one of the guys that taught me in the beginning days showed me how you could get away with using a jumper cable for pretty much everything if you didn't have your meter. So we are at 14 volts AC there, so it's technically open. The limit switches, if they were tripped, they'd be running the blower. This thing is in really poor condition. Make sure all of our wires here are good to go. They seem to be. 
Yep, because like I said, we jumped R to W first thing. I can get the transformer kick on. Just one more time, just to be certain. Just gotta get that on there. That on there. Yeah, I'm hearing a click, and it's just nothing's happening. So, it's definitely something that is relays. Well, I gotta call and see if we can find one. I just found a control board at my supply house. Now, for those that don't agree with the way I did it, here's the reason why I did do it the way I did it. No sense in going and getting that board, driving across town to get it, if you've got a bad draft motor. The draft motor would be one more thing you'd have to either go back and get, or it might be enough for the customer to decide they want to replace the unit. I checked down here in the heat exchanger area, nothing in the primary. I looked through the uh, limit switch there in the middle, didn't see anything there. So everything seems to be working pretty fine as far as that. We made sure the ignition control works, so we know that's working. There's really not a whole lot else to go wrong on it. So this is the best way I think to go through it to make sure that uh, everything's gonna work when we get back. That way you're not wasting a lot of time on something that's gonna need more parts or they may decide not to repair it at all. And uh, to me, that's just a better investment in your time. All right, got the board in there. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Went ahead and checked the flame sensor, and everything's good on that. Got it cleaned up. suggested the blower so that it runs a little bit longer when it shuts off. Got okay, looking at the board here. Let's see if we got some issues here. That's your problem. Yeah, it's not ran for a while, it smells. Alright, good deal. Filter's new. We are good to go. Well, that's a short one, guys. All right, so we've got to see horse right there. We're uh, heading to a new heat call here. It's in a business. Let's go take a look and see what's going on. Oh, what did we get stuck water back here for? This isn't running, and the ther thermostat's right here. All right. It was making some squealing noises. It's so damp down here. I think it just got rusty. Gotcha. And the motor's not working. Yeah, so not blowing. Okay, we'll take a look, see what we got. The last time I looked, the pilot was still on. Okay. I don't know what's back here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not a lot of room to begin with. The yellow container and shove it out here somewhere. I don't even know how it got back in here. I don't know. There you go. Oh my word! Yep, it probably probably didn't breathe real well with that dirty old filter. So you said the blower stopped running is what you thought happened? It started making noise and then it just, it wouldn't start back up. Mm -hmm. it, I, yeah, I think it's the blower. It spins freely. Let's see if this blower motor runs on this fine piece of machinery here. We'll give it a G signal and see if it uh, brings on the blower here. Let's see if that capacitor is any good. That's kind of hodgepodge it in there. It's dead there. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have 9.8, so chances are it's probably a 10. So the capacitor's probably fine. Might be the start windings. Let's see how the draft motor runs, because that could be what's failing, what they were hearing. 
Uh, this thing's definitely getting kind of old. Be surprised the heat exchanger ain't gone. Ah, there's your problem. It won't turn. So, that should be good. There's no ream people around. Ooh, goodness gracious, that thing is hotter than blue blazes. Yeah. Chances are this thing's bad. Let's see if we can get that pride off there. She does not want to spend freely at all. Man, that heat has transferred through that ending to the fan blades. Yeah. We could probably grease it up and get them going if there's not one in town. I don't know if they gonna have this old thing in stock. The flue pipe has had better days too. I mean, it's not leaking through yet, but looks like it's reduced and hopefully goes to a chimney. This is a really old building. This thing, make sure it's not bad where I can't see it. The uh, Went through the top there and just kind of wanted to give it a good look. It, uh, things in 1992, I mean, they need a new one, but parts available and it's only about 200 and some bucks, so we'll go ahead and go get it. But I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be unsafe. Um, been real happy with this camera. It's got split view, so it's got front and side cameras. And, uh, it's been a really good one so far and the battery lasts forever it's got a five uh, five thousand milliamp hour battery on it it's uh all of it listed down there in my uh, section of tools along with all the other tools that i use so we're gonna go ahead and go down through here through the burners and look in there gives me a chance to kind of see what all is in there because you can't see yeah look at that you just can't see everything from the burner area. That's why I wanted to kind of go in there and look around, make sure it's safe. I'm gonna do a little better inspection once I put this down. Oh, I hate doing this. <laughs> yeah, don't die on the way down. <laughs> oh, my knees don't want to bend anymore. Yeah, I feel you. I, after I turned 60, everything went the pot. <laughs> well. I'm not even there and it's already doing it for me. Okay, we got the new filter in there. We got a new draft motor here. Brand spanking new for this old beast. That's probably rotted off. Yep. <laughs> rotted. <laughs> I was able to take that pilot tube off of there and I just backed it out. There was a little stub there, got on there with the linesman, took it right out. Come right out of here. Got her all in place, got all the screws in there, got her labeled up, had to chop off a little bit of this uh, rotten out uh, pressure tube. It gets really hot and uh, tends to fall apart. Got everything back together down there. Pilot's pretty clean. It surprisingly stayed in there. I was able to get a screw in there about as far as what you can get it. Just have to be really careful. Go back and forth a few times at the impact or drill it out, whichever. So, got that ready there. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. thermostat was new when I first started <laughs> back in the mid early mid 90s she's running okay, we've got a little disturbance there in the flame but Gaps along the 
bottoms down there. You can see the cobwebs. So it's not the heat exchanger crack. No rollback, so it should be fine. What I like to do is kill it a couple times and see if it takes the pilot out. Trick right there, help you make sure that you're not going to lose your pilot after you leave. I think I'm going to go grab my blower and blow this thing out. It's kind of dirty back here. You can kind of see everything back here is kind of dirty. So we got our time set, our day set, check the programming, which these are older and dirt, but man, they freaking was so much easier to do than the other ones. So if you wanted to know what your program was, Monday through Friday, wake, sleep, nothing in between if you didn't want something in between you just held it for so long it would erase it and uh, boom simple as that so we're on heat which this usually had a switch this must be the commercial version because uh, there was a I thought a heat cool switch on here wasn't there yeah I'm pretty sure good grief I don't remember I thought there was a switch down here usually. Anyhow, it's set for 70 until tonight around 10 and then it'll go back. So it's on heat. Um, other than that, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Until next time. Later.